All right, let's do a couple of examples. And fortunately, it appears they realized in the book that some of these things are too blurry to actually read the vernier scale off of. And so um, they kind of highlighted, uh, they highlighted what numbers line up on the vernier scale. So to read this off, you can see the zero. It looks to me like it's between, this is 71, 72, 73. It's between 73 and 74. So this will be 73 degrees. And then they're saying that it lines up at the 46. I don't know how they got the 46 out of that, um, frankly, because 46 doesn't show up on this Vernier caliper. But whatever, I'll just take the book at their word. So we get 73 degrees, 46 minutes. On this one, the 0 is past the 11, but it's not to the 12, so this will be 11 degrees. And the 15 is the one that's highlighted, which indicates to me that that's where it lines up. So we got 11 degrees, 15 minutes here. On this one, looking at where the zero is, um, it looks like it's almost exactly lined up with the 61, but it's just slightly past, so I'll call that 61 degrees, and five minutes, because the five follows it. That's also how I knew that it was slightly past. Um, I looked and saw that it was five minutes. And then this one right here, we are, it looks like the zero, if we were to follow that out, we're right here. It's 25, 26, 27. We're not yet to the 28, though, so 27 degrees. And, again, 25 minutes. I have no idea how you would get 25 minutes off of a vernier caliper like this, because it's not... Oh, no, I guess 25 minutes is one of the ones that's marked, um, because they, they mark every five minutes. 